in the name of God hi ladies and gentlemen first let's let me introduce myself my name is Mortaza Bitaf Sani uh, I am a faculty member of uh, ASRI let me begin with uh, phenotypic and uh, genetic evaluation of dairy camels uh, origin in Pakistan the present study was uh, conducted with the aim of providing a practical approach to evaluating dairy camels based on uh, genomic data, uh, test day records, and morphometric uh, reports. My presentation is uh, divided into two parts. In part one, I talk about uh, genomic data generation. Then I will look at the phenotypic and genetic evaluation. And finally, I talk about the result of this project. Genomic data generation uh, was done in Iran, in uh, the central uh, desert of Iran. Uh, in part two, we evaluated Pakistani camels uh, using phenotype and genotype uh, data. Uh, part one, genomic data. Well, I would like to mention that uh, we should generate genomic data. as you may already know mating in camel is natural and seasonal. Heart size is small. Generation interval is high. Recording uh, is difficult. Often there is no pedigree. Well, the best way is that we use genomic selection. As you may already know, there is no SNP chip in camel. Well, uh, what we can use technique to sequencing and genotyping in camel. We use genotyping by sequencing technique in this project. In this technique, uh, we prepared pool samples of DNA with restriction digest enzymes. Next sequencing, next genotyping, next SNP calling. Okay, data collection. In this step, we collected weight and morphometric records and uh, blood samples uh, for extraction of DNA in raw matters of central desert of Iran. We collected data during 2018. You can see in this slide there were 51 hertz with mean hertz size of 90 hertz. 16% of camels were under one year old by name Hashi. 12% were over 10 years old. About 50% of camels were over 10 years old. Among 964 calving, the most were in January and February. We estimate the generation interval using this data to be 7 years in she camels and 6 years in bull camels. Finally, among 256 male calves, we gather 96 samples from five regions. Okay, we recorded uh, at the morning before grazing and the um, pasture. Camels uh, were kept in closed area at night, which is called gotch. The animal identification was inferred via uh, three-digital tags. Due to large distance uh, in remote regions and transport difficulties, we constructed a port up waiting scale consisting of a thin piece of iron, a digital scale for 2,000 kg and one chain crane. The metadata collected for any call will include uh, ID number, characteristics of owner, geographical region, recording date, birth date, uh, parental names, and body weight. The recording intervals uh, were approximately three months, with the first record starting in the calving season, the second during the summer, and the third of uh, and the search at winning season at the beginning of autumn. Finally, we collected 252 
body weight records from 96 calves in different times during 2018. Okay, uh, genomic DNA we, was extracted using the modified salt out method. Samples uh, were genotyped by sequencing using two restriction enzymes uh, by name ECOR1 and HINF1. Paired and sequencing was done on the Illumina High Sec. Uh, the adapters uh, were termed term, uh, with uh, plus two FASTQ. Uh, with pairs with low quality we, uh, were omitted uh, by using uh, FASTQC. Okay, uh, genomic data uh, was extracted using the mod uh, modified uh, salt of method. Uh, samples uh, were genotyped by sequencing using uh, two restriction uh, enzyme uh, by name ECOR1 uh, and HINF1. Paired and sequencing uh, was done in, uh, on the Illumina HiSec uh, platform. The adapters uh, were uh, trimmed uh, with BCL to FASTQ. With pairs uh, with low quality. Uh, were omitted uh, by using FASTQ. Uh, the sequence uh, with mapped uh, to the dromedary reference genome assembly on chromosome level. The PCR uh, duplicates uh, were detected by utilizing uh, PICARP tools and uh, disregarded uh, in downstream analysis by the GATK and some tools. Finally, uh, uh, variants uh, were called across the GBS data uh, using uh, GATK. Uh, and uh, uh, we used uh, uh, this package for bioinformatics uh, analysis. We did the uh, genome session associated study uh, uh, and predicted candidate genes uh, that associated with gross uh, traits using following model. Okay, the estimation of uh, genomic breeding values uh, was performed with the BGLR package including BRR based A, B and uh, C approach. Uh, results distribution of uh, body weight records uh, is visualized uh, in box plot the gross trend of data suggested linear relationship between age and uh, body weight analysis of uh, quarians for uh, body weight records showed a significant difference among camels from five sample uh, regions uh, it's, it's necessary to adjust to sampling region affecting GWAS and genomic selection. The Pearson correlation between daily gain with uh, body weight uh, was more than birth weight. Also, the birth and uh, body weight were correlated. Okay, a total of 15. Thousand uh, SNPs results uh, after filtering uh, and uh, were used for final analysis. The largest number of SNPs uh, was identified on chromosome 9, followed by chromosome 19, and the smallest uh, of SNPs uh, was found on chromosome 22 and chromosome 23. Uh, the average mineral frequency uh, of all SNPs. Uh, was 0 0.19 uh, after QC. Average observed heterozygosity was 0 0.25 plus minus 0 0.03. As you can see, the SNPs found uh, to be associated with birth weight, uh, daily gain, and body weight. The most significant associated SNP with birth weight. Uh, daily gain, body weight uh, was located on chromosome 8, 10, and uh, 11.
finally, uh, we detected on uh, the SNP panel for uh, growth uh, using 99 associated SNP with uh, three traits, uh, birth weight, daily gain, and uh, body weight. In this slide, you can see the marker of uh, this panel. We published the result in uh, scientific reports. Total haplotype blocks and uh, 80 tag SNP were uh, predicted among the 99 associated SNP with linkage disequilibrium. The average correlation uh, and regression coefficient between the observed and uh, the GABV predicted from two SNP sets one, all SNPs, and two, 99 associated SNP using. BGLR package. The accuracy of GABVs uh, were more than 0 0.65 based on all SNPs, but the regression coefficient for birth weight, daily gain, and body weight were 0 0.39, 0 0.20, and 0 0.23, respectively. The GABVs uh, was less biased based on low density SNP panel. The accuracy of uh, using the 99 associated SNP also evaluated by, uh, by cross validation. The accuracy of the BRR model were more than base, uh, base A, B, and C uh, based on the 99 associated SNP. Okay, after development of this SNP panel, we validated. We designed primers for list of SNPs in panel using ARMS PCR. That's all I have to say about genomic uh, data generation. Let's now turn to phenotype data and phenotypic evaluation. Let me start explaining uh, why uh, we should use morphometric data instead of test a milk yield. Recording uh, in extensive system is very difficult. As a matter of fact, test day recording is impossible. We collected about 4,000 daily milk records of 62 Pakistani dairy camels in Iran. She camels were milked twice per day. The farming system uh, was uh, intensive with two times feeding. Thirteen measurement of body were recorded. We evaluated correlation between test and milk yield and morphometric records. These are correlate. 24 measurement uh, was used to evaluate the body score, considering a maximum score of 100. For example, you can see the she camel in this slide with the score 84. We evaluated all uh, she camels. Uh, the body score and milk yield was correlated. So, uh, the use of morphometric data and body score can be a suitable criterion uh, for the evaluation of dromadarism uh, extensive system. I would now like to move on uh, to the next part. We decide at this stage to use phenotypic and genomic data to evaluate male calves. The camels were originated uh, from Pakistan. First, male calves were evaluated using milk production and body scores of uh, your mothers. Next, uh, they genotyped by a SNP panel. Let me begin by explaining why male calves uh, were genotyped. Because of the importance of physical strength and uh, body growth in the natural reproduction of male calves. Uh, the use of this SNP panel may be effective. As I said at the beginning, the SNPs associated with growth of camel. In conclusion, let me sum up my main points. Uh, commercial SNP arrays uh, have been developed for many livestock animals, but no SNP chipping. Uh, is uh, available for uh, dromodaries. By using genotyping by sequencing method, 
can be produced many genome-wide markers, which is uh, that supports GVASAN uh, genomic selection. GVASAN draw mother camels uh, identified the uh, associated markers with growth trait could help to plan breeding program to genetic improvement in uh, dromedary camels. Uh, the use of uh, morphometric data, body score evaluation, and genomic data can be a suitable criterion uh, for the evaluation of dromedary uh, in uh, extensive system. Now, I would like to end my presentation here. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank all the farmers and colleagues uh, who created in this uh, project.